Hello everyone and good morning. Happy magical readathon day. It is officially April the 1st, which means it is the first day of the Owls readathon. I am so pumped. This is not only the first Owls readathon I've been a part of or magical readathon I've been a part of, but this is the first readathon I've ever done and I am overly excited about it. And this is the perfect time to have a readathon because of just all the craziness that's going on in the world right now. This is the perfect time to have something exciting to look forward to and fun to give us energy to read. And I am, I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. If you've never heard about the Magical Readathon before, it's a readathon created by G at Book Roast. I will link her announcement video below, as well as my Owls TBR below as well. And all it is, it's a it's a readathon that's based on the owl exams at Hogwarts that you take in your fifth year. And G puts so much work into it, like crazy amount of work. Like she has this whole booklet that has a list of different magical careers and you pick a career you want to work towards. And depending on the career is what your reading prompts are. And you try to pass all these exams to work towards that career. It is so involved. <laughs> I'm working for the Trader of Magical Tomes career, which sounded like the perfect career for me, to be honest. I thought about librarian, but then I actually read the description and it sounded like a really dangerous job, actually. And I was like, that's not quite me. I'm not really that brave, even though I'm sorted into Gryffindor, but whatever. I'm kind of part Ravenclaw too. I feel like in my heart, I'm a Ravenclaw, but I've been sorted into Gryffindor, according to Pottermore or whatever the website's called now. But anyways, I digress. So it's the first day. I have already started one of my exams. I've started my Ancient Runes exam and the book that I'm reading, which I don't have with me right now, it's actually on my Kindle, so I can't really hold it up and show you that well anyways, but I'm reading Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire. I have never read it before. I'm so excited to start the series. I started this morning. I'm already like 18% in. It's a really short book and I'm really enjoying it so far. If you've never heard of it before, um, from what I can tell, what it's about is it's about this boarding school that takes in children who have returned from a magical place. So think Alice from Alice in Wonderland, Dorothy who goes to Oz, um, the Pevensey children who go to Narnia. Think of these kids that have gone to these magical places and then returned back to our world. And it's supposed to help these kids cope with returning and reacclimating into normal society. And a lot of these kids felt like their real home was in this magical place that went to and not the real world. Um, it's super interesting so far and I like it. It's really quirky. It reminds me very much of reading Alice in Wonderland. Some of the characters talk very nonsensically. So it's it's a lot of fun so far. And oh, and then the, the prompt for Ancient Runes, the reason I picked that one is that it needed to have something with a heart on the cover of the book or the word heart in the title. So every heart a doorway works perfect. And I was really excited to be able to use that one because I've been wanting to read this series forever. Um, it's a series of novellas and I think there are five books out now. The most recent one just came out, um, I think January or February, maybe it was January, very recently. So <laughs> I'm blathering now, but my goodness, I, I am so pumped. I'm gonna to try to vlog as much as this experience as I can. I'm not sure how many vlogs I'm gonna turn out this month, and I'm hoping to improve my vlog game this month as well, because this gives me a reason to vlog, to be able to talk about the exams that I'm doing. But um, if you are doing the Owls Readathon as well, let me know down below either your TBR video, if you have one of those, or just like what book you're most excited to read in the Owls Readathon. Um, I'm really excited about a lot of them. But again, I've linked my video down below if you want to see my full TBR right now. But yeah, I'm about to start a day at home with work. And this is week two for me of working from home pretty much fully. And I'm getting used to it. Um, part of me really enjoys it because it's a lot quieter. Um, my daughter gets to go to daycare still. They're doing lots of measures to make sure that she's safe there. Um, but it's an, a, considered an essential business. So they're able to stay open and there aren't any more than like eight people there at a time. So um, it definitely keeps it below the 10 rule. So anyways, I'm excited to start a day of work. I'm excited to read more of uh, Every Heart a Doorway. Who knows? I may even finish it like tomorrow or maybe even today. The book's really short. So because I'm just so excited to read, I'm probably going to go nuts and end up reading it really, really quickly. So and I actually only have six exams I'm trying to pass. So if for some reason this month I hit all six of those exams, I may actually try to add some more on and try to even pass more exams. So we'll see. But I need to stop talking now. I'm talking way too long already. But 
his magical readathon day. Look at this sweet puppo laying in the sun. He's my little work buddy. I think this has been probably my favorite thing working from home. He's getting to have Moon Moon hang out with me all day. He's so cute. Okay, really quick reading update. I was able to read a little bit more of Every Heart of Doorway over lunch today, and I'm about 30% of the way through, and I should definitely be able to read some more tonight. But I just wanted to mention something that bothers me in books is when just out of nowhere, you're like slapped in the face with just sort of like crass content, at least what it is to me. Um, one of the characters in the book, um, she had been like in the past she had traveled and spent a lot of time in a very nonsensical world think like like wonderland um, a lot of things are spoken in riddles and things like that and she talks like that too and she kind of talks non-stop and is also very blunt and at one point out of nowhere and it happened to be like the section I had stopped right before so right when I got back into reading it at lunch just all of a sudden like I was slapped in the face with an f-bomb and then some crass things of like a sexual nature were brought up that I was not expecting and I was just like whoa whoa back up and I know it was supposed to kind of point the fact that this character is just really blunt about that kind of stuff and just like blunt in general and just sort of says things that you're like that's kind of inappropriate but it just like all of a sudden slapped me in the face with like two different things back to back that were just like really whoa <laughs> for me <laughs> So that's always a turnoff for me in books. It's kind of making me not enjoy it as much. And I'm hoping that I don't see any more of that in the rest of the book, or at least not much of it, because it, it did kind of lessen my enjoyment. I was really enjoying it and getting to know the characters. And all of a sudden, this one character just out of nowhere, just sort of plopped a whole bunch of like, to me, inappropriate and uncomfortable content for myself. So I was just like, okay, then. So <laughs> I'm really hoping that it improves. I mean, it's such a short book, so it doesn't have much longer to do so. But I was really enjoying it. So I'm hoping it grabs me again and kind of pulls me back in some more. Because at the moment, I struggled a little bit with that. I'm going to be honest. Okay, folks. Update time. I am 77% exactly on the way through Every Heart a Doorway. And I am enjoying it a lot. It's improved for me. And I actually completely forgot this book was also a murder mystery. That's not really a spoiler necessarily. It's something that like almost everybody has said when I've heard a review of it or heard descriptions of it. I just completely forgot. And I love mysteries. So this has been fun. The only thing is like it's only... Like I said, I'm 77% in. There's not much left. And so I'm just interested to see how it wraps up the mystery in this amount of time. Because it seems like it's escalating more than like trying. I don't know. Hopefully it gets to the ending well enough. I'm just hoping it doesn't get to the conclusion and then cut off really, really quickly, if that makes sense. I'm just hoping it, it wraps up well and well. But I am really enjoying it. It's fun. It's quirky. It's different. So I think it's a good read so far. Hey guys, it is now Saturday and I realize I have not updated you all for my reading in a while. I actually just finished recording my TBR video for the owls. I feel so late posting that up, but usually I just post on Mondays. And so I picked the first Monday of April, which is actually like five days, five or six days in. So I feel like I'm really late posting it, but it was a lot of fun to film. I love filming TBR videos, but especially since it's the owls, oh my goodness, it was awesome. <laughs> but to update you on my reading, I finished Every Heart a Doorway by Sean McGuire, and I ended up really enjoying it. I liked it a lot. Um, the only thing I kind of felt, especially while I was done with it, I wish it was longer, and I've heard a lot of people say that. A lot of people wish they weren't novellas, because every single one in the series is a novella, and I felt that way too. I just wanted more. I felt like there just could have been more detail. It just could have been more, I don't know, it just could have been more detail about the characters, more detail about the school itself. I don't know. I would have loved to have it been longer. And I did really enjoy it. Um, I won't reveal what my star rating is for it right now, but I did put it through Caw Pile. And it kind of was like a mid-range. Um, of course, I didn't hate it. I really enjoyed it, but it wasn't quite as good as some of the other books I've been reading lately. But it was a really great start to my Owls Readathon, and only a few days in, and I already got a book done. So that's awesome. So I finished my Ancient Runes um, exam, and now I'm actually on my Charms exam. And that particular one is to read a book with a white cover. And so I'm actually reading Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like a yellowy color, but it's, 
the most like pale color I could find that was on my TBR cart because I really wanted to pick something on my TBR cart if I could. And this is a perfect excuse for me to read this because it kind of makes me read it because I'm not a contemporary reader at all. Um, so this kind of pushes me to read this book because this is one I kind of bought on a whim that I found at a thrift store and it was super cheap and it was in really good condition. So I was like, you know what, why not? Even though it's not the kind of book I normally read. I heard of it. A lot of people really love Rainbow Rowell. I never read anything by Rainbow Rowell before. So <laughs> I thought I'd jump in and do that. So this is my charms exam and I'm actually about halfway through already and surprise, I actually really like this book. <laughs> it's really sweet. Um, if you've never heard of this book before, um, the most basic thing I can say about it is just these two kids in high school um, who kind of start an unlikely friendship and then they fall in love and it's really sweet so far. <laughs> Um, I can tell it's going to be, there's going to be some rough patches in this book, I can tell. I mean, there's got to be some drama in there, right? But I'm really liking it, and the relationship feels believable to me, and it just feels really sweet. And I'm actually really enjoying it. And I'm surprised, because usually I don't really swoon with stuff like this. I'm just not a romance person. I don't really get all that excited about having romances in books. Like if I'm reading a fantasy book and there's romance in it, usually I'm like, that's the least favorite part of the story to me. So I'm actually really enjoying a book that's focused on a romance. I am shocked. <laughs> so it's been a lot of fun. I'm really liking it. And after I finish um, this clip here, I'm going to read a little bit more of it and get a little bit more into it. But... I've actually been flying through it and I'm shocked. And also the chapters are really short, which I love. I love it when books have short chapters because I read so much faster for some weird reason. I think it's because you get to an end of a chapter and you're like, oh, I've got time for one more. And then, oh, I've got time for one more. And then you just read a whole bunch. But it's been a really, really good weekend. Um, I got to spend a lot of time with my daughter this morning and we played outside a lot. It's absolutely gorgeous outside today. So we got to play outside. And then tonight we're going to have some pizza and watch a movie. Um, we're going to watch that new Pixar movie. I think it's called Onward. Um, Disney so kindly posted it on Disney Plus, even though it just came out in theaters because theaters have been shut down. Nobody can go see movies. And so um, they posted it on Disney Plus. So we get to watch this brand new Pixar movie that we normally probably have to wait most of the year to be able to see. So I'm excited to watch it and I love Pixar movies so it's gonna be a lot of fun and then tomorrow morning I'm supposed to play violin over at church um so it's gonna be a very full morning and everything but after that I'll get to come home and spend time with my family so it's good but hopefully I'll update you all soon on my reading but yeah it's going really well and I'm really enjoying this readathon. Good morning everyone I am terrible at vlogging <laughs> I think the last time I updated you all was on Saturday. It's now Tuesday morning. Uh, it's week two of the Owls Readathon now, which is pretty darn crazy. I'm sorry if the video is really noisy right now. I got the fan going, I got a window open. My dog's over here licking his paws and chewing on his nails like a weirdo. But I wanted to give you all an update before I start working today. So over the weekend, I ended up finishing Eleanor in Park by Rainbow Rowell and I really loved it. <laughs> I'm still so shocked that I loved this book because I'm just not a contemporary reader at all. And I'm so, I'm excited that I loved it because now I feel way more open to reading more contemporary books and giving them a chance. And you never know when you pick up a book and you just kind of get something on a whim and you go, I don't know if I like this. And it just sits on your shelf for a while. And sometimes you look at it and you go, why did I buy that? And then you read it and it shocks you. And you're like, oh my goodness, I love this. What is happening to me? <laughs> So I'm really, really thrilled that I loved Eleanor and Park. It was just, it was such a sweet love story. It felt real, it was heart-wrenching, but it was beautiful and sweet, and there were just so many great moments in it. And I just, I really enjoyed it a lot. I feel, I wanna say so much more about it, but I don't wanna spoil anything. Like I don't wanna talk about any part of the relationship, or I don't wanna talk about the parts that like really impacted me so much because I feel like I would spoil it, but it was really good. So if you're interested in contemporary or if you're not interested in contemporary, and you just want to read a really sweet love story, then I would, I would give it a chance. Just take it a shot and just see. Um, now I am reading, we see, I finished Eleanor and Park on Sunday and now I'm currently reading Beast Heart by Kyle Richardson, which exciting is my very first arc, maybe only arc ever, but I don't care. I'm just excited. It's an arc and it's really cool. Um, I, I am enjoying it so far. 
I'm having trouble getting into it. I'm probably about 25% of the way in. It's not a very long book. It's less than 300 pages. I think it's like 280 pages or something. But um, the story is steampunk, and I think that's why I'm having trouble getting into it. I'm trying it out. I've never read steampunk before, ever. I um, always love the look of steampunk, but I've never been interested in reading a book that kind of has that steampunk edge to it. So it's interesting. It's different. Um, I'm still just trying to get connected to the characters and everything. Um, but it's about, right now we're following two different perspectives, two different characters in two different timelines, not timelines, but two different characters that are not connected to each other right now. I'm assuming maybe they will connect at some point. I don't know. Um, but we're following one girl who has like a mechanical hand and something's wrong with her hand and she really wants it to be fixed. And then we're following this boy who is an orphan and he's been in and out of foster homes and he's been trying to get out of terrible foster home situation. Um, and that's pretty much it so far. Um, and it's just set in this steampunk world. And I think there's some kind of monster something at some point. I assume the front cover has like this monster is like on the front. <laughs> so we'll see. But I'm hoping to get more into it. I should definitely, sorry, I got a hair in my mouth. I should definitely be able to read more today um, over a little bit over lunch and then also tonight before bed. So I should be able to read a decent chunk of it today, to be honest. I'm kind of wanting to power through and get it done pretty quickly because, um, well, I mean, I'm already two owls down, like already done. I already finished Ancient Runes and Charms. Um, this one is Transfiguration, so I mean, I'm already a three and I need to do four to get my <laughs> career, so I'm, I'm plugging around pretty, pretty darn good, but I really like, once I get in like the momentum, I want to keep reading. So, um, I've got a full day of work ahead. I have meetings all morning this morning. Um, I kind of have that like anxiety clench feeling in my chest today, but I feel like I always have that on Tuesday mornings. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the whole ordeal of like getting myself ready, getting my daughter ready, taking her to daycare, like trying to get everything set and ready before work. I think it just gives me anxiety for some reason. Um, and as you can see, this is kind of like the main room that my daughter plays in and is a mess. It's been a mess in every single video you've seen and I'm sorry about that, but we're just kind of doing our life, living, living the quarantine life. <laughs> it's great times. Um, but anyways, I feel like I blathered on enough as it is. And I got to get it set up for work. Um, hopefully, I'll either have an update for you today or I can update you all tomorrow or something. But, yeah, the owls are going really well. I'm just not doing a very good job at vlogging, to be honest, which is a surprise for me. So, I will update you all later. Hello and good morning. It is now Thursday. Let's keep on the trend of me not updating you for several days in a row. Uh... I feel like I don't have much to update you on, to be honest, but at the same time, I feel like I do. So I'm still working on Beast Heart, which I'm honestly surprised about because the book, according to Goodreads, is not very long, but it's taken me forever to finish it, and I don't know why. I'm about 75% of the way through, and uh, it breaks my heart so much to say this. It really does, especially since this is my first arc, and I've been talking to the author and everything, and I just really... I want to love this book. I really, or at least like really, really enjoy it. And I'm really struggling with it for some reason. I'm having a really hard time connecting with the characters. And I don't really know why. I don't know if it's the steampunk setting. Because, I mean, this is my first time reading something more like steampunk. I don't know if it's the setting or what it is for me. I'm just, I'm really struggling connecting with it. And that just breaks my heart. Because it's, I really wanted to like it a lot. I really wanted to just love it. And I'm struggling with it. And, uh, I don't want to say that because it just hurts my heart to say it. Um, but I am trying to, obviously I want to keep reading it. One, because I want to be able to get my full feel of it. Also, I need to finish it for Transfiguration to finish that exam for my owls. And I am honestly kind of determined to finish it ASAP. I want to finish it today. I can't remember what day I started it, but I feel like it was forever ago. I feel like I've been working on this book for such a long time. And maybe it's just because the first two books I read for the owls or for this month, I cranked through really fast. And this one just seems to be taking a lot longer. So I just want to get it finished so I can move on to my next read. Because um, I'm just anxious to, to jump into something else and continue my owls and everything, even though I've got plenty of time. Today's only, what, 
the 9th of April. So I've got tons of time. I got plenty of time for the rest of the month to finish my owl. So I don't know why I feel like this underlying pressure. But it has been a very full week. Um, it's Holy Week this week, so it's the week leading up to Easter. So, and the job that I work for is, it's one of our busiest weeks of the year. And of course, we're doing things very differently this year because of quarantine and not being able to gather as a whole church. So just figuring out, just, I don't know, everything looks different this week and it's been stressful and I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, but I'm thankful that today I get to work from home. My daughter's at daycare today. My husband um, is out enjoying nature. He took the day off and he's um, doing some hunting today. Um, he's doing some turkey hunting. So anyways, I'm just glad to be home in the quiet of my home today and Thankfully, most of the work I need to get done for the week is done. So today I feel like it's going to be a lot less stressful. I'm thankful for that. But goal of the day, goal of the day is to finish Beast Heart. I want to finish this book. And I may even film today also. I'm thinking about filming my, um, what was last month? March. March wrap up today. I'm thinking about doing that because I, I worked a little bit of extra time yesterday, I think. So I get off just a little bit earlier today and I may actually take that time to try to film a video and get that done so I can just get that off my plate and less one less thing to worry about. But yes, so much is going on. So much. <laughs> Hi, hello there. I am sweating like a pig right now and I feel a little bit goofy <laughs> filming my video. I filmed my March wrap up, which I read eight books for March and I ended up getting through the video pretty quick. Usually my wrap ups get way too long and I'm trying to get faster at them. So I was like lightning lips and was trying to get everything out. <laughs> so hopefully the video is not terrible and I made some kind of sense in it, but I'm glad it's done because sometimes the wrap up videos can feel a little bit overwhelming. But also, in exciting news, one, my work day's over, two, I finished Beast Heart, yes, it took me four days to read it and it felt like it was so much longer than four days and I don't know why, um, but I'm glad I'm done with it and can move on to something else because it just wasn't hitting me right and I'm looking forward to jumping into something else maybe either tonight or tomorrow, I don't know, but I'm just glad to be finished with it and I finished another of my owls. Transfiguration is done, y'all. I'm so pumped about that. So also, um, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here and I'll start a new vlog for the rest of the books I'm going to read for the owls since I have six books and I've already read three. Um, just so this vlog doesn't get too long and I'm going to try to get better at vlogging. I know I say that every single time, but I want to be more myself and I'm a pretty goofy person sometimes. So I want to be like more goofy and just more open while I'm doing these vlogs, not to just like be entertaining, but just to be me. And then also to be honest, like I always try to be about like when I'm having a rough day and stuff like that. So, and just to show you a little bit more of my life, I guess, and maybe try to have my husband in these videos more because I think he's hilarious and he's adorable. Love you, man. Okay. So I want one more thing I want to show you before I sign off here. And that's, I got book mail today and I was, wasn't supposed to get this until tomorrow. So I'm very excited. I'm sorry if my hand's shaking right now. I just realized it is. Let me see if I can set this video down a little bit better. Okay. So I got a book in the mail and I'm very excited about it and I've been wanting to buy a book so bad recently and I finally kind of bit the bullet and bought one that I've had on my wish list on Amazon for a while and it's so pretty. I got Pan's Labyrinth. It's beautiful. It's The Labyrinth of the Fawn by Guillermo del Toro. I always pronounce it wrong and Cornel Cornelia Funk. I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize. That was terrible. But look how pretty. It's so freaking pretty. I mean, and look, look at the, let me see if I can do this one handed because I'm still holding the camera. Look at the, the book itself. So shiny, sorry. But it's just so, it's just so freaking, look at that. And then like the illustrations on the inside. I mean, not to like spoil you all. Let me see if I can find an illustration. Of course I can't find one when I'm looking for one. Hold on a second. How are you guys doing today? You guys doing good? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're enjoying this vlog and I'm not wasting your time. Okay, so look at that. Look, like all the illustrations are so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to read this. I've seen the movie. I saw the movie in theaters when it came out originally, which was, oh gosh, forever ago. I mean, that was a really long time ago. I know I was in like college at the time, so it was a long time ago, y'all. But 
Um, I kind of generally remember what the movie was about, and I remember it being like dark and very dark and kind of sad and very like grim fairy tale ish. So I'm really excited to read it, and I just it's such I wanted it anyways because it's just such a pretty book. I know I could have borrowed this from the library because my library has it. But one, library is closed because, you know, COVID. And then also, I just really want to own this book because it's so freaking pretty. I want this on my shelf. So on that note, I hope you all are doing well. If you're participating in the owls, I hope your owls are going so well. And I hope you are well and you are safe and you're doing great. And I will catch up with you all later when I start on my next book, which will be The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. That's my next book. That's for, I don't remember what exam, but I will let you know in the next vlog. I'll catch you all later.